Hey guys, so are we all? So welcome to My Way Tarot. This is going to be a next seven day reading for Taurus. So if you have Taurus as your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury or North Node placement in your birth chart, this reading will be for you. This is a timeless reading, so it's whenever you come across this reading, it's where it's most likely to resonate for you and not necessarily just when I post the video. So if you do happen to see this at a later date, please don't be overly concerned by that as there still may be messages in here for you. This is a general reading, so with the messages, please only take what you feel resonates and leave the rest. And please use your own sense of discernment with these messages and not force them to fit with a particular situation. So guys, we're going to get into your read. This is the Modern Witch Tarot. So angels of love and light, we please have clear and concise messages. For Taurus placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury and North Node. What do they need to know in regards to the current energies for the upcoming next seven days from whenever they see of this reading? Please and thank you. Now guys, I had to replace my old um, Modern Witch Tarot deck here um, for a new one because the other one was looking a little bit... Um, kind of knackered, a little bit tired, okay, um, so that's why the cards are looking a bit different, okay, so it's a brand new deck, but we're going to get into your read now, cutting up the deck for you, okay, that wanted to show through, and so did this one, interesting, four of pentacles, wheel of fortune, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, Sagittarius placements may be significant, and the four of wands, wow. Four, one, four, or four, four, four. Maybe very significant here. Guys, if you've been struggling, okay, in regards to your money, um, you know, you've been um, <laughs> diligently trying to save whatever it is that you have, whatever you get kind of left at the end of a particular paycheck and put it aside, so that you have um, the possibility of moving or relocating or buying of a property or land. I feel like there's a financial breakthrough coming in, okay? Um, that's very unexpected. And it's really going to help you out of a pretty difficult situation that you've kind of been doing your best to kind of persevere in, okay? And I feel like there will be some sort of celebration in regards to this. Or you're going to feel a lot more at peace once you've moved out of a particular location. Um, I just got nicer, ni uh, nicer neighbourhood, okay? So nicer neighbourhood could be significant. Yeah, Eight of Cups, you're so ready for a new chapter in your life. And to be getting out of a current situation that has been leaving you feel pretty unfulfilled here, okay, yeah, with the six of cups, some of you may live with family members, okay, um, but you're wanting a new place, okay, you're wanting to strike out on your own, and you may have that never thought that you would have the opportunity to achieve of this particular goal of having a place of your own, you may have always felt like you had to live with others, or you had to kind of eventually move in with a love interest of interest to you um, at a later point in time rather than having of anything for yourself at first but there's something switching up for you where there is a new home on the horizon if you're wanting of this okay and um, yeah I'm, fe I'm feeling this like you've done a lot of work here and the universe wants to surprise you, wants to give you of this gift um, because you are deserving, okay? You've kind of shown and proved to the universe that I'm hearing that you've improved your um, money management, okay? You may be not overly indulging in certain purchases as much as you used to, okay? There could have been certain spending habits that you had that, you know, um, were kind of... A little bit challenging to deal with but you've overcome of something you've changed something up and because you've given proof that you are serious about what it is that you're genuinely wanting for yourself there's a blessing coming in okay which is going to leave you feeling incredibly satisfied right 
five, five, five on my time as I say that, which is five is an indicator of huge changes coming in. OK, what else is going on, please, for Taurus? What else? Yeah, five of pentacles. OK, with the world. I mean, how synchronistic is this? With the Four of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles, you've really had a hard time financially or in your material world here. It's like as soon as money comes in, it just like goes out again, okay? Like you're having to kind of quickly spend it to, to pay off certain bills or debts and you haven't really had much left over for yourself. And I'm picking up on the energy that there was this instance of you know, paying of everything off and then not having very much left over for yourself, but you felt pretty hard done by, so you wanted to perk yourself up a bit or feel better about yourself or treat yourself to something, and you would do, but then you would be feeling more in lack because you're like, oh, why did I treat myself to that? Or why did I buy of that certain thing? Now things are just more difficult, but in that moment, it gave you that sense of fulfillment because you were like, well, why shouldn't I be able to kind of treat myself or take myself out for um, for lunch, I'm hearing, or treat myself to that particular coffee or whatever. And you may have been feeling pretty bad about doing of this, but there's a cycle of poverty that's kind of closing out for you or financial struggle. OK, and the world, as in the universe, the cosmos, is getting ready to take you out of this energy and to bring in something that's going to make you feel, I'm hearing, on top of the world, okay? Yeah, with the three of wands. There's definitely a relocation, okay, taking place. Or there's plans for it. But you're wanting a new start in your life. And it's coming in for you. As I think, say that with the ace of wands, you're going to feel invigorated you're going to feel motivated you're going to feel inspired whatever is coming in for you that's going to give you the resources that you need okay now if it's not necessarily like financially abundance coming for you with an unexpected kind of windfall or donations or you winning of something or um inheriting a property or something like you know what i mean or like a promotion in your work then there's the sense of an inspired idea that you can take action on that's going to help you, give you that pep in your step to get yourself out of a situation, okay? Yeah, with the moon. You don't see it coming. Pisces energy. This is definitely a surprise, Yeah, Queen of Cups. I feel like you're so loving and giving and nurturing, you know, in regards to others. And if others needed a helping hand, you would be there to give of that for them. And I feel like even if you didn't have, I'm hearing very much in your pocket in regards to spare change, but yet you come across like a homeless person, you would always use whatever leftover money you had in your purse or your wallet and go and get them some sort of food or give them that little bit of spare change out the kindness of your heart because potentially you know what it's like to be in a I'm hearing a dire strait here like a dire situation you know um you may have dealt with homelessness in the past or been on the verge of homelessness or you may have had to be evicted um, or on benefits or potentially um, you were unemployed for a long period of time with all the best intentions of the world to get yourself a job um, so that you would be bringing in your money here to pay off what you need to <clears throat> yeah but you're about to get recognition for some sort of work as well here with the six of wands but also I'm, I'm getting that the universe recognises and sees you that even though you could have kept whatever you had for yourself, even when you didn't have very much, you still gave in some way, whether that was financially or just 
I'm hearing like in a compassionate way, emotionally, energetically. Um, or some of you, I'm hearing something to do with um, non-profit, a non-profit organisation or charity work or voluntary work to help assist those who are in a less fortunate position than you are. And you're helping these people in some way to help them feel kind of better about their current circumstances and whatever they're going through will only be a temporary thing. It's like you, you're you like this really beautiful energy that gives people hope, that gives them that sense of like, yeah, things won't always be like this. Like there can be improvement um, if I just keep on persevering or if I do this, that and the third. Like, yeah, there's something about you. Yeah, you definitely, I feel like you kind of know what it's like here with the Four of Pentacles to go without very much and to still go after certain dreams or ambitions when you didn't have certain resources here. Knight of Swords, something is quickly coming in for you. Communication, news, I'm getting like emails, a letter, um, a phone call of somebody who has seen the work that you've done on yourself or how you're assisting of others here and they're wanting to come in to completely change and transform your life okay because you are someone that has tried to help others change and transform their lives yeah look at that temperance and the death card so it's either like an earth angel is coming in to assist you to uh, assist with whatever you've got currently going on so you can take something to the next level so something can take off for you or others are seeing you as this potential earth angel here and you're the one that is i'm hearing a light in this world But you've, you've done of something out of the goodness, the kindness of your heart, the sense of purity. As I say, that page of cups, which is all about that. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. You may have a lot of water in your chart, okay? Somebody wants to be very generous with you. And I'm hearing, oh, I can't accept that. Like you're being very humble. Oh, I can't, I couldn't possibly accept that. That's, I'm hearing that's way too much. That's way too much. That's far too much. You know, maybe you should give that to somebody else who's more in need and what have you. But I'm picking up that this blessing is for you. As I have been say that with the star, Aquarius energy, this is for you. You need to be open and receptive to this. This blessing, this divine blessing from the universe is for you because whatever is coming for you you're the one that can be trusted i'm hearing it's in safe hands in regards to you you see how much this queen is kind of nurturing of this cup like something is coming in for you because Whatever it is that you choose to do with this particular blessing, especially if it is money or resources or what have you, you're not just going to be kind of using all of that necessarily for yourself, okay? And then not kind of bother to help or be of assistance to others anymore because you finally got of something that you have been wanting in regards to your level up in your life. I feel that you'll be able to take what you feel or receive what you feel is right for you to get onto a particular level so that you're feeling emotionally satisfied, content. And then whatever left over is overflowing, you're able to implement those resources or finances into other avenues to be of assistance. And I'm hearing share in regards to being um of service to humanity in some sort of way yeah i am getting that because you can be trusted with this particular blessing and just be careful there may be other energies around you that are going to see that you have of this and then they want to come in and sweet talk you and to be on your good side 
but if these people do come in and say oh will you you know owe us for this that and the third or even if you don't owe anyone anything and they come in and be like oh well i'm having a difficult time etc but were they there for you when you were going through it i'm getting this kind of potential mind game ulterior motive energy from someone outside of you so just kind of bear in mind with that okay which I, but i feel like you guys are very switched on very intuitive anyway you'll kind of know what's what here you'll know that whoever is coming forward towards you um you know if they are wanting your assistance and help whether they have good pure intentions or not as i say that with the ace of cups you'll know You'll know. But if there is a big blessing coming in for you, that is mainly your blessing. That is for you, right? But if you want to be sharing it out or you want to be putting it into something else, except you can do whatever you want with it. But just letting you know now that there are some energies around you who want to take advantage of your kindness here, okay? Yeah, as I say that with the nine of wands. So don't get kind of played here. Don't get wounded. Don't get in a sad place, okay? But I feel like you're very protected by the universe, by the divine with that judgment card. With Because look, with the devil, Capricorn energy, there are energies around you who are just wanting to take from you and see if they can get that kind of leg up um from being around you or being associated to you in some form or fashion okay so yeah what else is going on for taurus please and thank you what else lovers gemini energy some of you there could be um someone from your past romantically who's wanting to come back in and talk to you um, because they see that you're about to have this big blessing, right? With the high priestess, you may intuitively feel of this. But then you may kind of send them packing, okay? Especially if you and this person, you know, didn't have a very healthy relationship. Um, it was more toxic or there was just a lot that went on whereby there was a reason it ended here and there's somebody coming back around because they see that you're about to um get to this new position and place and maybe they want to be a but be beside you and it will be down to you to intuitively pick up on whether this person is sincere or whether this person is just trying to I'm hearing prevent themselves from being in a more tricky situation that they currently find themselves in. Okay, like trying to avoid other situation. Okay. Yeah, look at that eight of cups. They're trying to move away from something. Okay. With the ace of cups, with the thought that if they get together with you, okay, that they'll immediately level up or glow up because they'll be with you and especially if this person themselves has been struggling financially or they got a big debt that they need to pay or they got caught in a situation um where they're having i'm hearing to escape or kind of suddenly depart or move from an area okay but there's there's something iffy around it. But this is somebody that you've dealt with and it was a more of a toxic or abusive situation from the past. This is not a, a person who you have a strong soulmate connection with, like divine counterpart, what have you. This is this is somebody else from your past. Like I'm hearing before you spiritually awakened, okay? So before your spiritual awakening. So this is like right in the i'm hearing back in the day okay and it may surprise you because it's like i'm hearing i haven't heard a word from this person or i haven't heard news about them and then all of a sudden they're on my doorstep 
What else, please? Next seven days. Ten of Cups. Empress, look at you. I'm reading energy rather than gender or sex, but we have Taurus and Libra coming through. We have Divine Feminine energy with the Page of Cups. Yeah, look, you are very, very deserving of being truly happy. It's your turn to experience, I'm hearing genuine pleasure in this 3D reality because you deserve it. Okay, yeah, the chariot, Cancer's energy. Something could be significant about Gemini, Cancer season I'm picking up on. Yeah, look at that, Ace of Pentacles. That could be when this money comes in or that's where you're finally gonna be settled in a new environment and you're gonna be, I'm hearing thriving in a scenario. But this is someone who's very, very comfortable. Very secure in oneself, but secure in their kind of environment as well. I'm hearing that they've beautifully handcrafted and created for themselves. So some of you may be creative and um, have... Done, I'm getting arts and crafts or something to do with painting, drawing... I just heard knitting, like crochet could be significant. You're going to be able to make a place, a home, rather than it just being a house. So for instance, if you've always kind of lived with family or flatmates or friends, or, um, you know, people that you've been romantically connected with, but you've never had a space of your own, and you've always kind of rented, there's an opportunity soon that with this new place, it will be yours, and you can put your own spin on it, and I'm getting like interior design, um, interior designer could be significant, Make something that's truly unique to you and your personality and your likes, your wants, your desires here. There could be something to do with a move to the country. Um, something quite idyllic, maybe like a little cottage. Or potentially if you are someone that wants to stay in the city or a town. Um, I'm getting something to do with it being bigger something being bigger there's more space i'm hearing free to roam okay interesting with me saying free to roam i'm also getting that obviously rome wasn't built in a day so whatever you've been persistently working on it hasn't been built you know in a day but i'm getting that there could be this potential surprise of like overnight success from the universe a big blessing i'm also getting that with me saying rome i'm getting like italy so there could be a potential opportunity to travel yeah this could be like a dream destination your of yours here with the star a blessing coming in where you're also able to travel to somewhere that is um you've always wanted to go but you never had the excess kind of finances to be able to do off this yeah this is a card of travel here with the chariot what else here please for taurus next seven days what else is coming through nine of cups gosh so we've just seen the star which is like a miracle taking place and now we have the wish fulfillment Okay, yeah, with the ten of wands showing through, you you have really struggled, okay, but you're at the finish line. I'm hearing you've dealt with a lot of um, emotional wounds that you've needed to address. I'm getting spiritual warfare, but look, the universe is coming in to really bless you. I'm hearing in all areas of your life, as I say that, including love with the Two of Cups. Wow. Including love. 
So some of you, there could be a new relationship that's coming in with a brand new person or somebody wanting to come back around and reconcile, however it is. And this is going to be very significant, very serious here. It may even lead to marriage at some point with the Justice card. Five of Cups with the High Priestess. Do you know what it is? It's like what I'm getting is that you may have felt so disappointed about certain things in your past. You're going to be looking back in retrospect and then realizing that you went through everything that you did because there was a higher calling on your life. There was more to you and your story. And through going through what you did, even though it's incredibly painful, the blessings or the desires, the dreams, the goals, whatever it's coming into fruition for you, I'm hearing is just going to taste that much sweeter because of the disappointments and the sadness and everything that you went through. It's like having this full sense of appreciation and gratitude for when all these major things come in for you. It's like, wow, oh my gosh, like, I'm hearing this is all really real, right? In regards to the universe. Okay, yeah, look at that with the hermit, Virgo energy, very spiritual. Like whatever is coming in to bless you, to get you out of this position and state where you felt like nothing's ever going to change or I'm not going to have that new love in my life or I'm not going to be able to get out of where I am or I'm not going to be able to invest in myself in the way that I want to or invest in a business or get that new home or new car or whatever it is, right? Something is coming in for you that's going to restore your faith. I'm hearing in God, in the universe, in source, in your spirituality even, I just heard. And it's going to make you feel like, wow, okay. You may have lost hope or faith. You've been feeling confused or lost here with the Seven of Cups. But something is coming in to restore you, I'm hearing, on a soul level. But also to really show and prove to you that you are very much watched out here for okay and divinely guided and supported and justice is coming in for you and i'm hearing you paid off your karmic debts right with that justice card and because you've done that you've been healing your inner child you know um you've been healing certain uh ancestral karma generational curse breaker you've, you've done it all and i'm feeling that you're going to be majorly blessed. As I think say that, breaking up the deck, we have the Hierophant, which is your card, Taurus. This is restoring your faith. Restoring your faith. And I'm hearing strengthening your connection to the divine. But also I'm picking up that with everything happening, it's like... Your intuition, your psychic abilities, if this is something that resonates, is heightening, you're ascending, you're evolving. And I'm hearing that you're like this conduit for channeling messages that are coming through from a much higher level I'm picking up on. Much higher level. Yes, look at that. You're picking up messages that are coming through on a wow much higher level you see how this person's on the motorbike much higher level you're picking up on messages and that you know have this person here on the motorbike and all of these ones are above this person's like crown chakra here like you're picking it up from all different i'm hearing different dimensions messages that for you to deliver what on earth yes that's the truth ace of swords this is these are these are downloads. These are some, the you're meant to be speaking up of these messages and delivering them for some of you. These channeled messages. It's like your throat chakra is kind of like opening up more. 
your third eye opening up more, your crown chakra opening up more to assist those who have been in this position and place because you know what it's felt like to be kind of left in the gutter and to get yourself out of the gutter. And now you're ready for a brand new beginning in your life, a new chapter. I'm hearing a new dawn and a new day and I'm feeling good. You're ready for this new in your life and it's coming in. Justice being brought to you. I'm hearing finally after all this time. So when it comes in for you, don't push it away or think or some level that you're not deserving of it and try to like sacrifice it and be like a, you know, a martyr or anything like that. Just be like graciously, confidently accept these blessings and be like, I am worthy. I am deserving. Abundance is my birthright. You know, I do have a solid reason and purpose to why I'm here, why I incarnated here at this time. And be excited about it here with the Page of Wands. Maybe some of you are realising that you're actually genuine channelers for higher dimensions in this multi-dimensional universe. As I effing say that with the star. Universe, cosmos. This is star seed. This is light worker. This is healer. This is chosen one. This is divine being. This is huge. I'm hearing you are so loved and supported. So loved and supported. As I think say that Queen of Pentacles, there's your card. Earth sign energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You're the one that's trusted, okay? You're the one that's going to be trusted with the responsibilities, the obligations to be of assistance and help to others, okay? And you're trusted with this abundance because, you know, you're not going to be kind of, I'm hearing gambling it all away or you know, um, whatever. What else here, please, the Taurus? The Hermit. Virgo energy, this wanted to show through as well with the Death card. with the ace of cups i mean gosh guys whatever isn't serving you and your highest good as of right now okay is kind of being drawn away out of your life i'm picking up that whatever is meant to be for you whatever is worth having will be saved okay but whatever else there is that isn't working, that isn't of assistance to you, that isn't providing you that sense of peace or harmony in your life, is going to be kind of decaying. And there's a rebirth taking place for you. And I said a new dawn and a new day with that sun kind of over here. Okay. So as this massive ending takes place in your life of one door closes another one opens and the sudden changes that take place for you is because you're this evolved being here with the hermit the spiritual warrior and you are definitely tapping in more than ever to your spiritual side okay going even deeper with your shadow work here okay trying to understand more so that you can be um, of someone who people look up to, who they can get solid advice from. Yeah, with temperance. Oh my gosh. Sagittarius energy and the moon. You've faced all of your fears, okay? You're taking control of your life. And you're getting harmony, balance coming in for you. So whatever you've been dealing with as of recently or for a while that have been really challenging to say the least. Okay. This pain is only temporary. If you've been struggling in silence or struggling in private, 
and putting on a brave face to loved ones or others around you who care, okay? Just to show through that, you know, you're still showing up and showing out every day, um, doing the best that you can. There's order being restored in your life. And this is going to bring a, a phenomenal amount of healing for you. But you definitely have new love coming in as well with someone who is a higher level soulmate, a past life connection or a twin flame. And they've evolved or they're evolving or awakening spiritually, okay? They may have gone through or currently going through the dark night of the soul in order to become this version of themselves that they always knew that they were deep down on a subconscious unconscious level but didn't have access to because of the 3d um this person is dreaming of you their feelings are growing for you this person is realizing that you were sent into their life for a reason and that they genuinely want this love connection with you okay um, and they know and realise it's not just a love romantic connection. They know it goes far deeper, far beyond, you know, um, anything of a superficial nature. And this person has a sense of urgency about wanting to talk to you relatively soon about the fact that they may have felt pretty lost or they were worried about being rejected or abandoned or left by you if they were to come through and showcase these deeper emotions and you know, change and transform their life so that they become this better version of themselves for themselves, but also for you and your connection as well. This person sees that you've kind of been handling your own business, like on your own independently. And this person is very much like inspired by that. And this person sees themselves as someone um, being like, maybe a, a husband or a wife, okay, having a sacred union, not wanting to deal with third party situations, this person may even want to have a family with you, okay, if you're wanting to have children, or if that is potentially something that's an option, or if you both already have children, blending of families, or even if it's just you and this person as a family unit with a few pets, um, but this person knows that you're not in any rush to get in a romantic relationship. But yes, you would like one. You're open and receptive to it. But you have been predominantly focused more on your healing. I'm getting energy work. I'm getting um, meditation regularly, praying regularly, um, really tapping in to having this stronger connection with the universe, with the divine. And I feel like all of these little changes that you're making, even to improve your health, like your overall well-being, etc., is just magnetizing of this person or someone who is suited, compatible for you is coming in relatively soon. Even if it's not the next seven days, the energy is very much here that something is shifting dramatically. And I feel like you're going to be really pleased about it. But wow. What a read, guys. I mean, phenomenal, right? <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm, I would be pretty uh, pleased to get a reading like this. I mean, this was lovely. <laughs> but um, we have water sign coming through. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have Taurus. We have Libra. We have Gemini, we have Scorpio, we have Virgo, um, potentially Sagittarius, Pisces, Aries, or the other signs that I called out during the reading may be significant for your sun, moon, rising, or Venus for yourself, or maybe someone that you're dealing with potentially. But 555, um, 111, 1010, 222, 999, um, 666, may be very significant. 313, I just heard 919 and 911 as well. 
and 444 I just saw 40 minutes and 44 seconds on my timer so yeah fours okay um which is really really uh, I'm getting important that there's still a stability there's order there's foundation coming in for you okay but anyway, that's the end of your reading. So I hope that there was some messages, a few messages, if not the whole reading that potentially resonated with you today. And I hope um, you have enjoyed this as much as I have. But um, if you wish to support myself and the channel, um, there is a donation link available in the description box below. There's a link for a PayPal for the channel. And there's the other option of Super Thanks, which is listed underneath of this video. So thank you to you guys who have already done this. I greatly appreciate you. Um, even if you don't financially donate, a wonderful way to energetically donate is to like, share, subscribe, comment down below. And I'll get back to you guys on those comments when I can. So thank you. Um, also, guys, by doing of this, you're assisting me with the growth and the expansion of the channel. But also it allows me to tap in more with your energy so I can pick up more specific messages to be able to deliver. And also it helps circulate the uh, the readings, the videos, so other people who may not have the opportunity to see of these readings will get the chance and there may be something um, important for them. So thank you for this kind of like equal exchange, it does mean a lot. Please hit the notification bell so you get an alert as to when I post another video for you so you don't miss out on future content or any update, um, updates <laughs> um, to do with the um, community board. I nearly said dote, like doting, and I nearly said doting husband, okay? So there's going to be like a, a doting husband for someone, okay? Like someone very devoted, okay? And I just heard somebody finds you adorable, like they're grateful for you being in their life, I just heard, okay? Now I need to come out of this energy. I just heard I love you, <laughs> okay? And I care about you deeply. And I'm hearing you mean the world to me. Yeah. Anyway, um, no, I'm trying to pull out this. <laughs> Sorry, more messages are wanting just to be channeled. Um, but I'm trying to pull out this now. So, um, yeah. I'll oh, just... Yeah, if you wish to be a member, guys, there's a link in the description box below um, with all the information that you need in regards to this. And thank you to my current members. You guys mean the world to me. And please feel free to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury and North Node placements in the other Zodiac signs so you can receive more free messages in regards to the current energies for your timeless next seven day reads. But anyway, sending love and light your way. Many blessings. Please take care and I'll see you and speak to you soon. So thank you for being here. Bye, guys.